How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Mr. Donahue here again. This time we're going to take a look at formula weights and determining the masses for a molecule or a compound. So our objectives will be to determine the formula weights for various substances and to distinguish the difference between atomic weight, formula weight, and molecular weight. All right, so first off, don't let the weights confuse you. They're all pretty much the same thing. So we have an atomic weight, which is just basically the weight for a single atom, hence atomic weight. Uh, for hydrogen, it's 1.01 atomic mass units. Uh, helium, it's 4.00 atomic mass units. And the formula weight is the sum of the weights of all the atoms in a substance formula. So, for example, if I had carbon monoxide, I have one carbon and one oxygen. So the formula weight will be the mass of the carbon and the oxygen to give you 28.01 AMU. You're basically just taking a look. What is the mass of each of the atoms in that formula and adding them all together? If the chemical formula is just an element or a symbol, then the formula weight is the same as the atomic weight. So, for example, if your formula was just Na, well, the 22.99 atomic mass units for sodium is the atomic weight and the formula weight because the atom is the formula, basically. So, yeah. And then the molecular weight is if the substance is a molecule, then the formula weight is also called the molecular weight because you're making molecules. So, if it's made of molecules if it's a molecule then um <laughs> then it's a molecular weight sorry for the scribbles all right so when a non-metal bond together um with other non-metals they form molecules and it's all the atoms are bonded together and make a single unit so that's basically all a molecule is when metals and non-metals bond they form ionic solids which aren't molecules and no single unit or group of atoms exists they just kind of all stick together and that would be like if you wanted the weight of that it's a formula weight so carbon monoxide is a molecule, and the 28.01, the formula weight, is also called the molecular weight. So you got this kind of thing going on, where the formula weight includes the atomic weight as well as the molecular weight. So molecular weight is when you have molecules, and that's how you spell molecules. And atomic weight is just for when there's atoms. All right. So determining... The formula weight. So how do you do this? How do you figure it out? Well, first you look up the atomic weights of all the elements in the formula. We'll be rounding to the hundredths place, so keep two decimal places for what we're doing. Then you got to determine the weight from each element. So now I know that each element's weight is, you got to go, well, how many atoms of each element are there? So you multiply by how many of that element are in the atomic uh, weight, in the atomic formula. So then you add together all the weights from the different elements, and that is your formula weight. So let's take a look at carbon dioxide, CO2. I'm going to look up carbon. It has a mass of 12.01 atomic mass units. And then I'm going to times that by 1 because there's just one carbon. So that's the mass from the carbon. And then i got to look up the oxygen. Well, the oxygen, there's two of them. So I'm going to have to do 2 times however much the mass is of oxygen. So I look it up, and it's going to be 16.00. So now that I have the mass of each element, and I multiplied it by how many there are, I'm going to add those together. So I'm going to get the formula weight for carbon dioxide to be 44.01 atomic mass units. That's all it is. Uh, whoops, yep, it's, there you go. So try some of them on your own, and then check. So here's uh, you know, a couple examples. Try these, these guys right here, these three. Pause the video, do what you can, and then see how you did. Okay, well, welcome back. All right, so C6H12O6. You're going to follow the same process, all right? Look up the carbons. Each carbon is 12.01, and there's six of them, so I'm going to times that by six. Hydrogens, well, what's the mass of each one? 1.01, 1 .01, and there's 12 of them, so you're going to times that by 12. Then the oxygens, same deal. 16.00 is the mass, and then you're going to times it by six because there's six of them. Then... You're going to add all of them together. So you're going to, you could do it equals and then write the numbers down. But, you know, however you do it, you're, you're adding up all those things right there. And when you do that, you get an answer of 180.18 atomic mass units. So mass of each thing times by how many there are and then add them all together. All right, so Al2O3, same process. Look up. Well, I got aluminum. What's the mass of each aluminum? Um, 
and there are two of them, so I got to times that by two. And then I got to do the same thing for oxygen. There, oxygen's mass is 16.00, and then you times that by three because there's three of them, and then you add them together. So add those together, and you get 101.96 atomic mass units, or AMU. All right, and one more. We got sodium hydrogen carbonate. NaHCO3. So same process. I look up, all right, well, I got sodium, and its atomic mass is 22.99 AMU. I'm going to times that by one because there's only one sodium. So I got that going on. And then I have hydrogen, which has a mass of 1.01, .01, and I times that by one because, again, there's only one hydrogen. And then I do the same thing for carbon. I look up carbon's mass. It is 12.01. .01. I times that by one because there's only one carbon. And now oxygen, same deal. I look up oxygen. Its mass is 16.00, and I'm times that by three because there are three oxygens. So now I add all of those together, and I get a mass of 84.01, if I can read my handwriting. All right, so, yeah, and that's atomic mass unit, and that's how you do formula weights, okay? So... Uh, yeah, so summarize. What is formula weight and how do you determine it? And that's pretty much the whole goal of this video, all right? So I hope you found that helpful, and I will see you in class. Okay, bye.